how easy is, is it to predict right now how the market is going to react to whatever outcome we get from the midterms? I, I remember the night that President Trump was elected. And initially, we had a big sell-off, and it was then followed by a massive rally. So, kind of, can you? Do, do we have an understanding of what the reaction function is likely to be? Yeah, well, I remember that night very well uh, as well, Guy. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, the, the market right now is assuming sort of the conventional wisdom based on the, whole, the polls, based on sort of previous historical experience uh, that the House usually flips in terms of uh, party control from, from the, the party in power in the first midterm election of a first uh, term administration. Uh, I think that if you get something outside of that, then you could potentially see a market reaction. Now, I don't know if that's going to be justified however. Um, I think, for instance, if you did see, a, say, a Democratic wave, uh, Democrats taking back the Senate, which at this point looks like pretty low odds, but say you saw that, uh, I think the market would probably be more risk off. I don't know if that would be justified, however, because, again, going back to this idea of infrastructure, I actually think that the chances of an infrastructure bill passing in a Democratic Congress, Democratic House and Democratic Senate, is much higher. So if you think that actually might extend this expansion in the United States, then that's actually probably be a pretty good thing. So I'm not sure that the initial market reaction is going to be well placed here. Libby, given what you say about infrastructure and given what you say about the expectation of the House flipping, what can I assume in terms of issuance uh, over the next two years? Can I take what we've got now and just extrapolate it? Or do you think the midterms may have an impact on that issuance from the Treasury? Yeah, again, I think that the infrastructure is the big question mark here. Um, you know, I think that we're, again, under a divided Congress. I'm pretty skeptical that we actually see a bill land on President Trump's desk that is signed into law. Um, that's, you know, especially one that is, that is uh, completely deficit finance. So I, I think that you're sort of your expectation that we can probably see a sort of a, a neutral fiscal policy um, outside of what's already baked into law. Of course, there's a government spending bill that was passed earlier this year that increased levels for both this year and next year. Uh, that will stay in place regardless of the, of the election outcome. So yeah, I think sort of a no, more neutral fiscal policy is probably the right assumption. Um, but again, I think infrastructure is sort of the upside uh, potential.